when you click on an email um, you're able to read that email in the reading pane whether that reading pane be at the bottom of your screen or be on the right hand side of your screen and that's something that we looked at in an earlier video by going to view and reading pane and choosing whether your reading pane is on the right or the bottom but also to read an email we typically would double click an email as well if we double click an email we can read what's in an email um, when you read an email it may automatically mark it as read and so what we can do is we can right click an email and we can mark an email as unread or we can right click an email and mark it as read you've also got control U to mark it as unread and control Q or control enter to mark it as read now when you read an email and I'm going to double click and open one up you also have the option to read an attachment so if I click on attachment I can actually read the attachment even though it's a PDF file and I have the option then to go back to the message using this button here and go back to message so that's the idea with reading and marking an email as read or unread as far as printing an email you can go to file and you can go to print and you can print an email in memo style as it appears here which is the most common but sometimes we'll go to print options and we'll actually choose to also print the attached files so they will be printed as well um, I don't think you can preview it though you'll just see the, the email and I can go back if I don't have the email open so I'll close it and I happen to be just sitting in my inbox sitting on that email and I go file print I can print the email in memo style which is what we had before or I can choose table style which means it gives me a list of all the emails that are in my inbox so there is the, the option to print a list of all your emails or print just the email in memo style and again you've got the option to print attachments or not and there's those um, two choices there as well um, which I'll take that option off, go to print preview and I would just simply hit print once I was happy with which printer it was printing to. So you can print emails. Now the other thing as well is forwarding an email. <clears throat> if I've received an email and it really doesn't concern me, I may have the, I may choose to actually forward it. And so I can do this a variety of ways. I can click this button as and as it says here I could press control F or I actually have these little buttons also at the top of the email where I can forward it um, or I could just right click and actually forward it as well but if I forward it then it's going to forward the message to whomever I mention um, and I can put a little uh, message and I can hit send actually I won't send, I'll send it to me so you can actually see it sent and hit send. Because I forward it, I get this little blue arrow in my um, icons column, which means that that email has been forwarded um, onto somebody else. As far as forwarding as an attachment, that is an option as well. If I click on this email and I go for more up here, I can forward it as an attachment and so the email is actually attached it's not in the body of the message um, and I can forward it on to me and if the recipient was to double click it it would open up as if they'd received a clean copy of the email not a copy which had um, a thread of conversation in it so you can forward it or forward it as an attachment you also have the option to reply so I can reply to the person and if there's um, a number of people in the to field and, and CC fields I could reply to all of them um, now it wouldn't reply to the BCC but it would reply to everybody in the to and the CC and there's the option to forward as well and there's an instant messaging option there as well um, often we want to reply to somebody with a meeting so if I want to reply with a meeting I'll simply hit this meeting button up here on the home tab and if I click that I'll reply with a meeting and I'll set the location to being um, software solutions I'll set the um, day to tomorrow and maybe the time to 10a and we'll probably be finished by 11a um, so see you then 
and I'll hit send. It does tell me it conflicts with another appointment, so that's useful to keep an eye on. And if I hit send, it will send the message to the person. And if I go and look at my calendar for tomorrow, it should have put it in as well. Um, and there it is tomorrow at um, 10 to 11. So replying with a meeting means that you're not only sending a response saying, yes, I will see you tomorrow at 10, but it's saving you then having to go to your calendar and enter that appointment in. It'll do it automatically because you've replied with a meeting. And it'll tell you if the other person accepts it, and also to put in their calendar automatically if they do accept it. So it's a very useful button, reply with a meeting.